Hey folks, it's Shawnee Baby. Welcome to episode 6 of my Kerbal Space Program Career Mode Playthrough. In this episode, we'll be sending a manned lander to Minmus and returning home back with some sweet, sweet science. We've got loads of science that we'll need to spend to get there, so let's head over to R&D and put this science to good use. Let's start off with flight control so that we can get advanced flight control to get us access to some RCS thrusters. Then I'm going to pick up landing for some better landing gear. And then advanced construction for the fairings. Some bigger rockets will help too, so let's get heavy rocketry. Lastly, we'll want some Mark II command modules, but to get that, we first need to pick up space exploration. And it looks like after getting space exploration, we won't have enough science to get command modules, so we'll have to gather a little more science before taking off for Minmus. In one of my previous episodes, somebody kindly mentioned that I forgot to collect science from the crawler way, so why don't we go ahead and start there. All right, we're halfway there now. To get the rest of the science we'll need, I'm going to upgrade our R&D to allow us to take surface samples. And then we'll just collect surface samples from all around KSC. And rather than boring you with watching that, I'm just going to cut to a point at which I've already collected it. So, now that we've collected enough science to get the command modules, I'm going to grab that now, and we should finally be ready to start building. Now that we've got these bigger and better parts, I'll be using a Mark II command pod for our upper stage, since it has better reaction wheels and a higher capacity for monopropellant. Also, we'll be using a 2.5 meter fuel tank, so it just fits with this part. I've added a service bay to keep all our delicate equipment safe during re-entry, like our science equipment and batteries. For our lander stage, I'll be using a Poodle engine, which is the 2.5 meter version of the Terrier. It doesn't work very well outside of a vacuum, but when you're in space, it's really efficient. And now for some landing gear. For our lower stage, I'll be following the same concept I've been using for our past ships. I'll have one large primary booster with some added asparagus staging to help get us into space. Now going back to our upper stage, I'm going to add some solar panels for electricity generation and some RCS thrusters for additional control when landing. Here I am adding my asparagus staging. I opt to go with four swivel engines and four thumpers to help punch us through the lower atmosphere. My goal is to have enough fuel to visit at least a couple biomes. I'll be bringing a scientist along to be able to reset experiments for reuse. Also, I'm making use of one of the new features in 1.2. I'll be using auto strut on my boosters to make sure they don't wobble during flight. It really saves a lot of time during construction. And lastly, some winglets for roll stability during takeoff. The Mark II command pod has a Kerbal capacity of three, so we'll be bringing a full team. One pilot, one engineer, and one scientist to cover all our bases. Last thing to do is to double check our staging and the engineer report to make sure we don't have any major flaws in our design. And that should do it. We're ready to go. Let's do this. So getting an encounter with Midmus is a little more challenging than the moon since its orbit is on a bit of an incline relative to our equator. Knowing that, I like to set Minmus as a target even before I launch so I can match our inclination as best I can. After doing that, it's business as usual. 
We'll get into orbit around Kerbin, and then set a maneuver for an encounter with Minmus. Looks like we ended up with an ascending node of 4.7 degrees, which should be close enough for an encounter. We can fine-tune that later if needed. And it's time to burn. Looks like our encounter isn't spectacular, so I'm actually going to set another maneuver to get us a little closer. The farther you are away from your target, the more drastic changes to your maneuvers will have on your trajectory. This means we can spend less fuel now than if we were to make adjustments later. There we are. Now some low thrust burns to get us our close encounter. And off we go. Now that we're in Minmus's sphere of influence, let's set a maneuver to orbit. Time to burn again. I realized we forgot lights for our lander, so that forces us to land on the light side of Minmus. Shouldn't be a problem. Let's land in that smooth, flat spot. Before we land on the surface, let's collect some science from space around Minmus. Okay, let's deploy our landing gear and prepare for our descent. Not my best landing, but that'll do. As usual, now that we're landed, I like to shut down my engine and disable SIS, since we won't be needing those right now. Looks like we got a milestone for landing on Minmus. And now it's time to gather some science. It appears we've landed on the Greater Flats. Okay, let's pack it up and head for another biome. But before we leave, let's reset our experiments. Hmm, I'll bet that plateau to our west is another biome. Let's shoot for that. So, I'll be aiming west or 270 degrees on our nav ball.
and we've done it again. Another successful landing. Let's run our experiments and see where we've landed this time. Looks like we've landed on the Midlands. Cool. Hmm, I don't really think we've got enough fuel to visit another biome, so why don't we head home? So, let's first get into orbit, and then we'll set up an encounter with Carbon from there. I'm going to play it super safe and aim for a periapsis of just under 50k. And off we go. Okay, time to turn retrograde and prepare for our first pass of arrow breaking. Once we cross the periapsis, I'm going to burn our extra fuel and ditch this extra weight. And around we go again. Here's our second pass of arrow breaking. I start to get a little worried here since I've actually trimmed off too much of our heat shield and it's been depleted. Hopefully nothing blows up. I'm thinking this next pass should be our last one. Let's find out. Looks like we were right. Let's head home.
Wow. 932 science? I'd say that was a successful run. Well, that does it for this episode. In my next one, we'll be planning a flyby of Duna. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time.